Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about PCB manufacturer PCBWay.com. Now PCBWay, uh, they offer a wide variety of services, one of those being printed circuit boards. They also do surface mount device stenciling, uh, CNC and 3D printing now as well. Uh, they also do PCB assembly services and uh, many other things which are available on their website. And I wanted to talk to them, uh, talk about them today because I've used them for my ham radio projects. So uh, one of the things, uh, now I've got, a, I've, I've got a green screen behind me, so I'm gonna have to turn that off for just a second so I can show you this because the PCBs are actually green. But uh, these are a couple of the PCBs that I got uh, done. Now I'll go into a bit more detail about what these are in a minute, but you can see there, that this is uh, one of the boards that I got made up. It is a double-sided board, and uh, you can see that there's quite a big copper ground plane, lots of wires, lots of, uh, it's a through-hole, through-hole board. That's one of the boards which I got, which uh, was for a, uh, a project. And also on a related project, here is a, a populated board uh, just here, which if I can get focused up, you can see there's a absolute stack of components on there. And if I flick them or flick it around here, you can see, oh, 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 I need to get my angles right. You can see all of the small little tracks and wires. And uh, this one is all hand soldered. I didn't get this one made up uh, through assembly, but uh, let me see if I can get that. I'm just trying to avoid the glare for you, sorry. But uh, you can see that there is lots of detail. Uh, on that board. Now these two boards were both uh, Gerber files which I just submitted to PCBWay. Uh, they did uh, some checks, they had a look to make sure that it all looked correct uh, and then within a couple of days uh, build commenced and uh, a few days later it arrived on my doorstep. So I wanted to talk about their service and uh, some of the projects in a little bit more detail today. So let's head over to their website and have a bit of a look here. So we can see uh, PCB we uh, do uh, prototyping. Uh, they also do so that they offer an instant quote service here, so you can put in your uh, your dimensions of your board, uh, how many boards you need, uh, the layers, and uh, they go up to I think fourteen layers at least on this instant quote they do, and also the thicknesses of the board, and you can get a quote. And uh, I think they do they do all sorts of special coupons and deals which are available on their homepage website. Um, if you uh, do get some boards made up and you submit to them and do a bit of a blog article, as I have done, which I'll show you uh, in a in a second, they uh, they will give you coupons for future uh, purchases from them. Uh, they also do, as I said, surface mount device stenciling, uh, assembling of PCBs, um, so you can uh, pop in the parts and all this sort of stuff. You can find out more information on their website. Flexible PCBs. This is pretty cool. I haven't got uh, one of these made before, but a flexible PCB might be uh, might be good for antennas maybe or something like that for uh, for amateur radio use. Advanced PCBs and also CNC and 3D printing, so you can upload your your CAD files and get your your uh, your 3D printing done through them as well. So let's just have a quick look at what I got done. So here is um, a lot of you would be familiar with my um, amateur repeater builds. If you go to my website, hamradiodx.net, and have a look under the repeaters category, you'll see I've got uh, a, a, an article written up here which is all to do about building a simulcasting and voting repeater. But uh, a couple of these boards, so this, this board here is actually the voting and simulcasting board here which does all of the control and actually links back to an all-star node or all-star system. And I've uh, populated this board and I've got three of these out in the field at the moment. Uh, I've got the one one board uh, back here in the shack, as I said, which is a, uh, a board which I populated, but I haven't programmed up yet and got uh, working. But uh, I've got three of these boards in the field and they have worked flawlessly uh, since the, uh, the day that I installed them. They work really, really well. Uh, and on the left-hand side here, this is just a 9.6 megahertz. Well, that that's a 9.6 megahertz OCX, OCXO um, oven controlled crystal oscillator, and uh, basically what this is is 10 meg a 10 megahertz reference is injected into here. Uh, there's some dividing and blah 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 going on in here, and basically what happens is the uh, there's a voltage voltage control to this uh, OCXO, 
and that's steered from the 10 megahertz which is coming in here to make sure that this is locked to a gps reference and then that outputs a solid 9.6 megahertz signal into this board which requires uh, which is the the main reference frequency for this board and uh basically that means that keeps this on frequency for simulcasting so having a look a little bit i wrote this blog, blog article on my uh, website and i think uh, pcb i think gave me a 20 dollar us coupon or something to purchase some boards and i put that uh, i've still got that sitting there i haven't uh, haven't used it yet but uh, i just wanted to point out some things which i wrote in this article um, so they're they're constructed and, and made in china I uh, sent them the files for fabrication and the whole process from submitting to arriving on my doorstep again took about five days. Now, I'm not I'm not joking with that. It was very, very quick process turnaround time. I think the build time was two to two days, I think, and then they sent them via DHL to my doorstep. So um, very, very quick turnaround time. So you can see the quality of the boards. They're very good. Um, you can see all of the the uh, the tracks and the vires and big ground plane and everything like this. so very very high quality and that's actually the board a little bit of a close up photo of it made uh, made up and con and constructed uh, you can see the underside of the board there too I took some photos uh, going back to their website if I go into how much those boards actually cost me so this is my account as I said I haven't ordered from them for a little while but uh, I thought I'd share with you. How much it did cost so this this down the bottom here is my um my order uh for the voting board so this is the the one with uh the the all-star voting board so i got five of those made they were 33 dollars plus 20 dollars dhl posted so 53 dollars and this is us dollars as well posted to my uh, to my door so <laughs> that's less than ten dollars a board or around no sorry around about ten dollars a board um it's less than ten dollars a board but uh, if you factor in shipping it's uh, a little bit more and there we go there build time two to three days uh so uh what i did was after that i then purchased uh, a couple more boards because i decided to go into simulcasting and build that simul uh, that uh that reference frequency board I purchased five of those as well at thirty-two dollars, and uh, I think there was it was a little bit more for shipping, so that was uh, fifty-six dollars. And all I did was I just uploaded those Gerber files, and they did all the checking, they did all of the the back end stuff to make sure that everything was looking correct and that uh, there was no errors. And uh, they go over and they check their work and post them out. So I can only highly recommend their service. So if you do have any uh, circuit boards that you would like built up, or any of those other services that PCB way uh, offer, then uh, definitely check them out because yeah, they, they are the best and, and I've used them a few times now and I've had great success. So the next time I do any projects, I'm definitely going to be ordering from them again. So I'll put a link in the description to pcbway.com. Have a look out for them. Thank you again for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video. 73 from Hayden VK7HH.